Trapping like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the trees. <laughs> On the north, got Diego. Diego. Say I'm still a wiggle. No way. We'll be in rapping kilo. Yeah. Snub nose with potato. Take, take out. No monkey in the dirt. What's up, man? Kill that urge to be chosen. Choose yourself. This wig is brought to you by Elfin Hair. <laughs> Psych, this is not a commercial, guys, but who knows? I want to shout out to Elfin Hair for providing me with this wig. It is a 24 inch deep wave burgundy lace wig. Yes, girl. It's given really much, like, it was given red, but it was given burgundy at the same time. I actually really love this wig. Um, everyone at my job loved it. So, yeah, stay tuned to see how I installed this wig and how I took pictures and really slayed this wig. Slayed to the gods. elastic band on while I chit chat with you guys while this dries real quick. So I'm thinking about doing a style to this hair. Am I speaking too loud? Hold up. My son is asleep. Literally right next to me. He starts crying now because he doesn't like to sleep in his crate. AKA he starts crying because he's a spoiled brat who doesn't want to sleep in his crate. He thinks he's growing. He thinks he can sleep wherever he wants to sleep in his house. Well, by my bed. He, sleep, he sleeps Literally, if I'm sleeping in the bed, he'll like tug at my covers a little bit so that he has a little bit of covers to lay on and sleep on the floor next to my bed. Anyways, so I was trying to figure out what style to do for my hair and I looked up curly hairstyles. So, there's this. Do you guys know? Hold up. There's this. I'm going to put it in the screen. Do you guys know Ramaya? so cute but yes that's literally so cute i can go for that or i can go for this this one right here i'm also going to put a picture of that and then i was also thinking about trying to do this which is literally so freaking cute hopefully i can do this i think i'm gonna go for this if I had to choose one, it would be this. But the thing is, hopefully my job, oh, I don't work tomorrow, so like hopefully they let me like. I'm at an age, guys. Guys, listen, I'm at an age where like, you like dating is a thing. I don't know, 21, yes. Around my age, people are like dating. And when I mean dating, I mean like going out on dates to try to like find someone not even try to find someone, just go out on dates. I feel like going out on dates with different people gives you time to like experience different people and really get to like figure out what it is that you want and don't want. So I'm glad that like people my age, hold up. People my age, well, people around my age and a little younger don't really do the dating thing because they're more like, oh, once you start texting someone and let's say I start texting someone, that's a little bit younger than me. I say I start texting somebody and they take me out on a date. They think that we're talking and we're dating and like this weird commitment stage in this generation where it's like once somebody like starts texting you, it's kind of like an own thing. No, I can go out on dates with different people because they don't ring on this finger at all. So that's what I've been trying to like do is so many people ask me out on dates and I kind of like, not that I want to say don't take them serious, I kind of like keep myself unavailable. Don't ask me why, there's like no reason because I'm not unavailable. It's just like, I always think that's a commitment. Whole time it's really not, you know what I mean? Like once someone takes you out on dates or once you start going out on dates, it just feels so like commitment whole time it's really not commitment guys like it's literally just going out with someone period the 
this is cute. Uh, I'm not glad about this is so I can really get this popping. Uh, so let's start from behind the ear over here. Anyways, there's, cause there's like multiple, let me not even say this one okay, because maybe people at my job watch me. But like, for example, it's like multiple people at my job are like, hey, I can take you on a date and I'm just more so like, um, why? Whole time, they're probably just interested and just want to take me on a date. <laughs> but it's like, why? <laughs> I don't know what I'm scared of. Maybe it's, I'm low-key scared of commitment because like, By the way, it's 4.30 in the morning and I have work tomorrow. Uh, but it, so like, this is so cute. Me. I did a great job with this lace. This is really cute, guys. Now I need to figure out. Wait, let me look at my nose. Come on, just fuck, 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 bikes. But I don't. Oh wait, this looks a little crazy. I'm definitely styling this for starters. Let's let's get that straight. I think I'm gonna do this style. Uh, focus. We can see how it. I'm gonna set it up, and we can see how it like goes. I think it'll be cute. Yeah, I think this hairstyle will be cute. So let me like see what I'm about to do. I would like to get to know. See you in the morning. It's five o'clock. Bye. Okay, vlog. So, as you guys can see, I've got a little hat on today. And this hat is for my friend's brand, so go support. The link will be in the description box below. See, I'm coming so they can see. Put your head down so they can see the hats. Very cute. And we're about to go out so that I can get some pictures and shopping for a new, a new mattress. So, let go. Giving him love before we leave. Ugly dude. I hate dresses. So we leaving? Oh wait, it's drizzling. Thank God for these hats. Let's hurry up and get in this car. So we're gonna go to the 
mattress door first so that I can try out some beds. See which one I like. I, I just can't do it. Huh? All right. Oh, seatbelts. Yeah, no, I don't wear seatbelts, but I'm gonna do it because I'm on the camera. Ooh, where the hell am I gonna take flicks at when it's raining? I'm going to the mall. Uh, the one that I'm going to last. Uh, Alex, I, I, yeah. I didn't know the name. Where is my telepano? I need some tunes. I forgot who was watching my YouTube video. It was like a boy, it was a guy. And he was like, he was watching my YouTube video and the tunes was busting. So let me find out. Yeah, I know I gotta listen to this song. Sam doesn't really like her song, but I love this song. I already suck at her teeth. You have to, Charisma. You have to really be comfortable. Like, you're not about to just get okay, it. Okay, Alright, come on. Bruh. Try a medium one too so you can see the difference. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a high. You said you guys got hybrids? Oh, see? That's soft and hard. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I feel like that one's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. It's a hybrid, so you got a combination of both. Right. Combination of both? Thank you for coming back. Like. The other one was too soft? No, I just want to know the, like, the prices of Of which ones? Yeah, because they're right here. But like, which one do you want? Because she said it's in a bundle, so you would get the box spring. Oh, with and it? The, yes. No, it's, it don't come with this. I think it's different. Yeah, because it's a bundle, Charisma. You gotta ask Miss Lady, but you have to ask her which one specifically. Unless you want to try out more, you're not ready. Just know, touching it is not feeling nothing. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You have to put your body on it. It's no bouncing it. Like, it's it's just soft. It's just no. It's no bounce, like no springs. What you doing? You recording? Oh yeah, she could see do YouTube. <laughs> oh, I mean. Yeah, I'm you don't like it. The difference it's <laughs> mid. You know it's mid. No, it's cool. I mean, it's mid. But like, so guys, we just got to Linux. <laughs> To I'm gonna make her a meme in the back. Cause you was a meme earlier. Really yeah. We're gonna find, yeah, we're gonna find somewhere to get some flicks and walk around. Hopefully, my husband isn't there today. You never know. Everywhere you go, you never know who you might meet or see. Like, and because because my Monica told me. <laughs> wait, my Monica told me that someone somewhere. There's a fly. Someone somewhere is is out there. My soulmate is somewhere. He might be in the mall today. You know, like y'all all know. Just gonna cross the street here. Wait, I look like a boy. Hey, check. Shelly back here. Wait, why? The, why is the camera doing that? Focus, 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 focus. I don't know. I don't care.
Karizis. It's your girl, Rizzy. Come here. Come here. Ugh. What's up, Karizis? It's your girl, Rizzy, and I'm back again with another banger video. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare me off this. Uh uh. You're not biting my necklaces. He's a biter. So, guys, today, hey, as you can tell by the title, I mean, I don't know. As you can tell by my voice, I'm very much sick, very much, just very much feeling like, mm, feeling like shit for the past few days. My head is still pounding, like, my head's been pounding for three days straight. I've took medicine, I've drunk what I need to drink. Nothing seems to be working. So today, I'm like, I'm about to make myself a chicken soup. I gotta run errands anyway, so I'm just about to go grocery shopping, get ingredients for a chicken soup, get me some tea, give me some medication, and clear this, this sinus, clear these sinuses out. So, say hi to Polo. If you're new, welcome in, guys. This is Polo, my son, and what? You don't even know why you want to be crying right now. He just, he's spoiled, like, he's just so spoiled. Anyways, I got a list of things that I need to get for the list. I mean, for the uh, grocery list. But first I have to stop at the bank, deposit some money, and then, yeah. You staying home, by the way. Yeah, you staying home, so go, go play over there. He is indeed staying home by himself. But, I'm gonna catch y'all in the car. I cleaned up today too. It's not Sunday, it's Monday. I know we do Sunday cleanings here, but I was too dead to clean yesterday. Like, I felt like <laughs> garbage, basuda. I still feel like basuda, but to the bank we go. Bye, Stink. He's probably gonna cry as I'm leaving. Oh, let me not forget my phone. Look at him at my feet, y'all. Spoiled, you spoiled, you wanna get picked up. No, no, you try to lick me? That's cute. He knows I'm about to go. He got, he know I got my purse. Look. Aw. Bye, Polo. Go lay down. But I gotta go. I'll be back in like an hour. He'll be in there crying. He be all right. To the bank we go. Okay, okay, vlog. So I'm pulling up to the bank right now. And the, the thing I love about where I live is that I'm pretty much literally close to everything any and everything so what i'm about to do is park in front of the actually ooh, this is a parking right here i was about to just like put on my hazards and like stay in front of the bank i'm about to run into the bank deposit some money and then i'll be i'll come right back and then go to walmart so i'm gonna hit y'all when i come back when i get out the bank okay so just left the bank we love that i apologize in advance <laughs> Niggas pop mollies. My mollies pop niggas. Sorry in advance if my energy is not like where it needs to be today in the video because like I respectfully cannot right now. Like I feel <laughs> on BD. <laughs> I feel worse. So with that being said, just gonna drive to um Walmart. I love Walmart. Love, love, love living so close to Walmart. First of all, I live so close. I guess I get spammerous about maybe like 50 times a day pushing 100 times a day. I want a new number Anyways, I love living so close to everything even though I literally drive Downtown almost every day because majority of the people I know live downtown, but I literally live look there's McDonald's Chick-fil-a Walmart Zaxby's tire place for my car Chipotle Cava Publix there's a movie theater tropical smoothie Cafe. Time out. I think I want a tropical smoothie cafe today. Should I treat myself to a smoothie? I think so. I think I deserve a smoothie. But is that gonna be good for my sickness? <laughs> Anyways, getting so getting off topic. Literally live by everything, so that's a plus. We're gonna play some tunes. Lately I've been listening to a lot of Janae. I don't even listen to Janae. Lately I've been listening to a lot of her and Frank Ocean. Polo likes Janae, I go. He does. I think dogs can't listen to music. My dog does. And it's hot. Put out some windows. All right, y'all know I love Thames too. Lately, she's been eating up. Let's zoom. Let's do a little zooming. Yeah. When I was in New York again, the kind of run on me. I've been, I've been doing things unknown. See the drama, you running off track. It's a one life, you tell me one. Open your eyes, open your eyes, baby. No more damages now. Back then, when I was a baby girl, I was hopping out. Could you take it back there? Pull up tonight, I might be risky. Don't got my 
never call you nothing, my man. Yeah, I don't even listen to Tusi like that, but this song, this song. Yeah, what you say? Look, I'm on the stage right now. I say you look good without no makeup. Your feet, you wanna ride in the rain? Want somebody to come bring your flowers? Wash your back while y'all sit in the shower. Someone to tell you and mean it. Was present. You could tell, but it hit more. I put it out on to the song that I listen to when I'm by myself, so. No, it gets better. You in the rain, we gotta keep your head up. Put the diamond on your fist, drop the feller. I put the beat to you, and now we here together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I live next to Whole Foods, Starbucks, Lowe's, Walmart, Verizon, like Chase Bank, like the whole strip is just filled with anything. It's because it's this own little city right here. I love this song. Like I love this song. This might be my favorite song by Tim. Me, you the run, you the rest. Oh, me, the man, you the cry for all the girls you change. Put all the money there. Put all the money together. One guy go call me the break back. You be look cool, look cool, baby. Look cool, look cool, baby. You be look cool, look cool, baby. You be look cool, look cool, baby. Tell me something now. I know, I know you see. Of course, this truck would be this close to me. Like, oh, it's a parking right here. He dumb. Breaking your neck for this parking. I'm at Walmart. Um, I usually don't like recording in the stores, so I'm not going to today. I don't know why. I'm just like not gonna go record the store because I just need to get my stuff and get up out of there. So why is this song playing again? I'm gonna hit y'all when I leave Walmart. Let me show y'all Wally. Wally Mart. Wally Mart. I am now home and let's turn on this air so we can hear. Um, I'm about to get all the groceries and see if I can make the trip in one go. Yeah, I think I can carry all the groceries in one go. Let's see. I'm going to attempt to because if you take two trips to, to get your groceries, do you guys like my tote bag? It's so spacious. It can like carry like everything. Literally. It carries everything. If you make your trips in more than two or two rounds, your mom. Hey, my dad used to say that. I don't make any rules. I just live by them. I'm gonna put you guys right here so you guys can watch me. If I wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me, what would you do if I told you you were beautiful? It's so beautiful where I live. The grass is always green. We love green grass. Did you poop on my floor anywhere? No? Yay. Big sugar butt. You gotta move out the way. So I can drop these down. I'm stuck. Give me one second, vlog. Hi, stinker butt. Of course, he's biting my back. Let me see if you pooped anywhere. Okay, you peed on the pee pee pad. Oh, stink about it. Wait, let me not get too excited. Let me look under the couch. He likes to go under the couch. All right. I have to clean up his little pee that he did. Come here, stink. Hello, how are you? How are you doing when I was gone? How are you? How are you? Why are you sticking your tongue out at me? You tired? You would not sleep? Would you sleep? Here's think about it. He's like, did you get me anything from the store? I got you everything yesterday. We went shopping for you yesterday, literally y'all. Let me show y'all. 
Bye. Get out of here. Get out of here. Next time you piss on my carpet, I'm whooping you. I didn't whoop you today because you didn't like. Oh, always lock your door. So, let me show y'all his little. Look at all this that he got. That he got his little pee pee pads and all his treats back there. He has a whole space in here. Where's your spray at? He had some like doggy spray. So, right now, if you hear him crying, it's because he's being fat and trying to beg for food, which he always does. He already ate, like, he already ate. Let me put this down. The thing is, he already ate, he's just, he's just a fat ass, that's it. My son is a fat ass, so I'm going to clean my countertop so that I can put... Moose, think about it. So, I got this. Another one, I buy about of these a week. I'm tired of them. I'm tired. So let me open up these paper towels. Oh, yeah. He about to literally sleep. Lay down and sleep right here in front of me. Yes, that's why like this stove. Oxy stain remover, stain remover carpet rug cleaner. That's for your ass, actually. Then I got celery. This is for my soup. All the things for my soup are going to go over here. Okay? Then I got these tissues for my nose to put around my house because I'm honestly tired. And I got the two-ply ones. I'm tired of using toilet tissue to clear my nostrils. It hurts. I got some gloves. I don't know why I got these gloves. I just felt like I need gloves for my house. Then I got new knives. I know they were probably like at the checkout. They're probably like, why does she need all these knives? Because I'm about to chef it up. And I only have like, I only have two knives. So now I got five. Cilantro. Hauls for your throat relief. Oh my God, guys, let me tell you. So growing up, I've always had allergies and they were always bad, right? And I will always just watch videos on how to relieve allergies. If you guys have any, if you have really bad allergies like me and you always get sick like this, you should like comment down below what do you do or what are some home remedies because I'm not really good on the medication. Like growing up, I used to watch people use the neti pot. If you don't know what a neti pot is, it's basically a little thing that you put on the left side of your nose and everything up there just comes down. So all the mucus comes out the other nose. I finally found one. I've been trying to find a neti pot since I was like 10. And I didn't feel like ordering it online. Oh my God. So like, wait, wait, is this a neti pot? Yes, it is a neti pot. Look, can you see? And you tip it, you tip it over like this. I'm gonna use this. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on camera yet because we are gonna be disgusted out. But like, I'm about to. Oh, let me put this cabinet. I can put my tissues up in this cabinet that I never use. Perfect. Let's continue. I got some insures because, you know, my eating, my appetite has been like, not been really good. Let me zoom in a little bit. My appetite hasn't been good lately, so this will help me out. If you're trying to gain weight, also. Uh, got more garbage bags. Let's put that over there with the cleaning supplies. An onion, this is for my soup. Potatoes, I got the baby potatoes for my soup as well. Chicken breast for my soup. That's all for my soup. Wide egg noodles for my soup. I, I was trying to look up what do you need and it was that that they told me. I got carrots for my soup. <laughs> and then I got some olive oil for my soup. This is all for my soup. Oh. Uh, I got this Tylenol for sinuses, so it says sinus headache, sinus pressure, nasal congestion, mucus, and chest congestion. My chest be feeling like somebody stepping on it. That'll help. 
in my head. It was like somebody pounding on it. Uh, I decided I need some fruit in my diet, so I got some strawberries and kiwis. Uh, I really like strawberries, and I really like kiwis. Then I got this nasal spray for my nose to clear it out. I got honey for all these teas that I got. So I went in there for one tea. Like, I went in there to get the lemon and garlic tea, but I didn't realize how much tea they have. Look, so they got this herbal tea for vitamin C, healthy immune system. I got this tea. Then I got this herbal tea, supports healthy digestion. Probiotics in here. You guys need to get up on your teas. And then I got this lemon and garlic tea. This is the one I went in there first for. I think this is good for sickness. And then, sleep tea. So I just got all these teas for, I don't know. I just think it's good to have tea, I guess, right? And that's the end of my shopping list. And for starters, I don't have sugar, so the tea's about to be nasty, huh? Or you're not supposed to use sugar in your tea. I'm about to do this netting pot. Like, the thing is, do you guys want to watch or not? Like, I don't know if you guys want to watch that. Is that TMI? Is it not? I'm about to do it. Whoa. Where are the directions? Let me get this set up. Okay, so I probably shouldn't be doing this on camera, but I'm doing it on camera anyway. If my crush is watching this, it's about to get nasty. So you fill this up with water, and then you take your saline pack. I've been dying to do this. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You pour it in the water, and you put the top on it. I'm <laughs> so excited. All right, so you tilt your head like this. So you put this in your nose. I'm scared. This is the best thing ever invented. <laughs> Did y'all just see how much mucus came out? It was like stringy. Let me try the other nose. <laughs> that just relieved everything. All right, all right, other side. That side really didn't have. All right, let's begin. I'm gonna start off with the carrots. I'm gonna wash them. So a lot of people like to. Ah! My bitch, say she had bad. Anytime I knock, I knock with that. No rubber band, no rubber band. Every time I put down, they show me that. If I know, pull out, she got my back. I do you go, I'm happy that. I do you go. Say everything I do is for my woman. Anything I talk, when you talk, I go do one. This is our mixture. This is what we got. Go green! I seasoned my chicken. Got all the veggies here. Potatoes. And I'm about to get this chicken going on the, on the, on the stove. On the, on the, on the stove! Okay, so here I have my chicken cooking. Chicken is cooking in here. And then here's the pot for the soup. It's about to boil up. I added some corn, by the way. Yeah, look at all those veggies. I thought I was talking to you now. I'm the camera was recording. Yeah, yeah. I I gave it all in me. I know what you like. I feel it for me. Tell me that the guess. I like to give you. And I need some less love. I need to get. So I'm going to show you guys.
in my soup. Yes, perfect. Mm. Yep, that's some soup, guys. That's some good soup. Let's go ahead and get a bowl of that. And I'm gonna watch this uh, documentary on Netflix. I love watching, hold up. I love watching documentaries, like, yes. Time for my sofa. Time for my sofa. Mm. This soup is good. Now this. This is a good soup. Yes. Yes. Who you know making chicken soup? Hey, go go sit down somewhere, bro. Who you know making chicken soup like this? Mm. Mm. Sit down here. Hey, nah. He biting my chunks. So I'm gonna watch this documentary on Netflix as I um eat my food. Okay, so I just finished recording a video for my friend. Uh, I stopped watching that documentary because, like, it was just so sad. And, yeah, it was just so sad. I'm about to go play with him because I'm bored. Let's see. Hi, sticker bus. Ow. The biting is crazy. Does anybody know any tips to stop him from biting? Because he literally, like, I forgot there were some tips some people told me, but oh, the doctor said replace it with something else that he can bite. Girl, he bites literally the walls, the carpet, anything he can get his mouth on, he will bite. Like, stop. Stop. Baby. Hello, baby. Hello. Why are you trying to bite? Stop! 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 Ow! Are you giving me lovings? It's a romance, y'all. Well, it's just me and it's just me and stick about for today. Why are you growling at me? Give him a kiss. <laughs> uh, so, so what I'm gonna do now. Why are you looking like that? He mad because I told him stop eating that croc. That Sam's crocs. Those pink crocs are cute. And keep trying to bite them. I'm about to get me an ice. A mango ice. Okay. Got a mango icy. I want to ask Sam and them if they want some soup. Because I do have a whole pot. So. Let's call Sammy Webby. Let's see what she's doing. Ugh, my stomach hurts. My phone's about to die. 
Let me get the charger. Stop biting on my couch. No, absolutely not. Hey, hey, no. Just have to get my charger real quick. So let's call Sam and see what she's doing. Hello? Yeah. What are you doing? I just got up. It's, three, it's, it's, it's four o'clock. I know. <laughs> Why are you just not getting up? Like, you knew I was up. I went. What? I said you knew I was up. Up when? So you didn't see me go chat? Up. <laughs> Why are we up at seven o'clock in the morning? What is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> we ugly as shit. No, you ugly as shit. Wait, I have to show you this random photo that I got. Okay, vlog, so as you can see, I changed my fit. Wait, I changed my fit. My son is cr is crying. I hear him. Sit down. I always put a pee pee pad right here. You don't even have to pee. But that's for him and just in case he got to pee. Can you sit down? Alright. Oh, let me change this tune. So basically, I was sitting in the house, you know, bull alone, blah, 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 blah. Then my gang, the gang, my friends was like, what's everybody doing? Hold on. Yeah. It was like, what's everybody doing? I did not know there was a lady standing right there. Sit down, stink. She was like, what's everybody doing? Whatever, pull up. So we about to go on campus. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Sit down. All right. Come here. Sometimes he likes to be held as I'm driving, which is not really safe. But you know. Once it's cold enough, I'll close the windows, but he needs air right now. He's spoiled. He wants to be held while I drive. Don't do a spoiled kid, y'all. My son is so spoiled. You know you're so spoiled, right? Yep, I know. This song stinks. You got some vacation time. You and your girlfriend too bad mine. I don't, I don't know, know why you look, look so nice. nice. Girl, you're not nice. True. Look, look what you put in me through. I never do this to you. And it's the one. One time. I need to hold a corner. And I know these niggas mad as fuck. Bitch, I'm in a trap. We see and we throw it up. I'm out of town, thuggin' with my round. Just quit playin' nigga, cause thuggin' like bitch so. Pound town, just live pound town. Uh, I'm out here in Miami, lookin' for the hoochie daddy. My son need a new pappy. So many bitches, where the niggas at? That's enough ghetto-ness for one day. Sorry, Stink. I had to be ghetto. We'll play some scissor and call it a day. 
You came with your new friends and her mom needs and her new friends and she's perfect and I hate it. Somebody get the tacos, somebody spark the blood, let's start the night goes off in episode one. My favorite and my woman of oh, yeah. I'll shy, baby. Yeah. I get so lonely, I forget what I'm worth. So I just picked up Kayla. Hey y'all, my hair <laughs> messed up right now. <laughs> okay, let my damn hair. And we just pulled up to Brawley and it's no parking closer to Brawley. So we have to walk a little bit. Mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is sad because I'm not trying to get Oh wait, hold on. Let me like trying to cry. Let me see what I gotta get. My hair really not body. curling how I need it to. Trying to do less tension hairstyles. Like <laughs> I'm dying out here. I should just be my keys right now. I don't feel like bringing everything out. I don't even. Well, I'm gonna bring my water. My I'm goatee. bringing this purse. Okay. I forgot I have pockets. Maybe grab my purse. You gotta get a toy though. Okay. Let me get my son's toy. Okay. Um. Um. Um, um, okay. <laughs> she like, um, I didn't um, want it to touch the ground. So we are on campus and we are walking. Hi, Karizzi. So before we end this vlog, this is actually probably my longest vlog that I've ever, like, really recorded and put together. But before I end this vlog... I just want to give you guys a few words and a few like, you know. I knew he was about to come in and do that. That's why I side-eyed him, side-eyed. Anyway, so I wrote it in my notes because like I wanted to make sure I stay on on topic and I wanted to make sure that I said it correctly and I know if I go off the dome, it's not going to sound as, as good. Right so, <laughs> anyways, here's what I want to say to you guys. Understand, okay. Understand that no matter what, you are the prize. Never let something so small control how you see and how you live. You're beautiful and I love you guys. And I don't know you all individually, but I know that I love you guys because you guys support me. And if you're a constant viewer, that means you find me entertaining and you enjoy me. So I enjoy you guys. And that's exactly why I love you. And also, there are a lot of people who just deal with stuff every day and you never know what someone's going through when you come across someone so it's like just be nice it's really free to be nice like it doesn't cost you a thing to just give some words of encouragement or just support someone in the best way you can just be nice like <coughs> side eye but yeah i just feel like hear people out tell someone you love them today um because you never know what someone's going through and you never know how other people view the world. And that's one of the scariest things that I've, I came to the conclusion the other day. I was just like, you know, everyone has different minds. And, you know, some minds, great minds think alike and some minds may click. But everyone views the world differently. And you don't know how a certain person is viewing the world. You don't know what's going on in their head. So it's just like. Maybe people are mean. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, but they're mean to me. Maybe people are mean because they are dealing with something and they don't know how to per 
They don't know how to actually view the world. They view the world way differently than you. So just be nice, spread positivity, and just live your life, run your race. You know what I mean? A lot of people are just waiting on something big to happen. You woke up today. That's the biggest thing. You woke up today. Let's start off with that. Let's start off with the day like, I woke up today. Eat some breakfast. I've been trying to get into the habit of eating breakfast or getting my sleep in. Yeah, this new mattress that I got. Compared to what I was sleeping on. This is the one. Your sleep matters. Get a good sleep. Get some good food in. I'm about to go eat some oatmeal. What the? Ice Spice said oats make her thick. Have y'all been seeing me? I've been getting a little thick, I think. Eat some oats. <laughs> eat some cereal. Wake up. And a lot of people, let me say this, because there was this one girl, I'm actually going to read it to you guys, because literally, if you guys text me, don't all text at once, because I be trying. I'm going to block out her name, but like, we was texting, this is hers, and then this is like my reply. Like, I was dragging the reply, because I was really feeling, I was really feeling it, right? And I'm going to read something that I sent her. So she was just saying how... Her best friend is not her best friend anymore. She's just been going through it. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So this is what I replied. I'm like, you were fine before and you're going to be fine moving forward. Understand that it's all within you and you are the one who calls it quits. No one else, and I know that sounds scary, but understand you attract what you think and speak. Learn to attract a positive mind that wants to look out the window and see a bright new day instead of a scary, sorry one. So no, no one said life would be easy, but if it was... Everyone wouldn't be fighting themselves. If you have to change, then do it. Change is hard, and we always go back to what we're comfortable with because we're all scared of change. Trust me, I'm scared of change. It's so easy to just revert back to what you already know and repeat those lessons because it's what you already know. It's like, let me say this. I'm the type of person that rewatches movies that I've already watched, not because I find them interesting and love them so much, but because I already know what's going to happen. So I rewatch it to save me the stress of the what's going to happen. Or I'll play, I'll replay levels of games that I've already passed because it's just the satis the satisfaction of me winning or already know what's about to happen just helps. We already know what's going to happen if we repeat the lesson. We go back to those toxic people. We go back to those toxic ways. We already know what's going to happen. So that's why we're comfortable because we're like, we know the outcome. When we take that leap of faith, when we try to change, we don't know the outcome. And that's why a lot of people are scared because change is scary. And we don't know the outcome. But who's to say the outcome is horrible? The outcome could be better than what you're, standing, than what you're stagnant with. Anyways, back to our snack. Change is hard, but we always have to go through it. We go back to what we're comfortable with. But guess what? Change is a great thing. Find those new people who understand you. Find those new hobbies that make you happy. And find those things that make you feel good about yourself. I know life gets hard, but you have to know it will get better each day. Feels less repetitive. No, each day feels repetitive when you're not doing you. When you're not doing something for you and you're not living in your true purpose, every day is just going to feel the same and just repetitive. Change it up. Change up the cycle. Try something new, even if it's something that you never thought that you would get into. I've been getting into cooking lately. You know, I, I, I've done hair. You know, I, I do hair. So I know how to do hair. So I'm not constantly going back to hair. I'm like, all right, let me find something else to do. I got a new dog. That's a big step on finding something else. Come here, Paula. I was just talking about you. Come say hello to me. Come say hello. I got a new dog. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't show off. And it's something new to me. It's changed. You know, it was scary at first. And I'm not going to lie. I was going to call it quits because when Polo got sick that first week, I wanted to call it quits because I was so scared. And I was like, this is a big responsibility. But look at him now. He big. He fat as ever. Look, look how fat he is, y'all. He is so fat. And he is, he is living. And T-Wave, what did I say? It's repetitive when you're not doing you. It takes time alone to really dig deep and understand yourself. Maybe you should try questioning those bad thoughts instead of trying to ignore them. A lot of times when we get bad thoughts, we ignore them or we don't tell anyone or we just like think we can handle it. No, don't ignore those thoughts. Think to yourself, why am I thinking these thoughts? Pray about it. Talk to people. Talk to anyone, you know? Find love. Wait, hold up. Is that what I said? 
It's only your head and you have to trust your intuition. Find love, it's beautiful. See the world, God's creation is beautiful. Find life, life is amazing. There shouldn't be times where you have to ever think yourself of less than anyone. We are all here for a reason, for a purpose. It wasn't by mistake. It wasn't by coincidence. God put us here for a reason. Pray and ask for your reason. Talk to him and get him to understand your thoughts. He will take your pain and all you have to do is live. Your body might hear and all you have to do is go. Anyways, I love you guys. If someone didn't tell you that in a while, just know I love you guys. And you guys can hit me up whenever you need to. Listen, it's just me and Polo here, man. I'll be alone too, y'all. Trust me. I know on the internet my life seems all fun and dandy, but you know we all have our times. Right now, I've been out of high... Stop! No! I just got these blankets! Anyways, I know everything seems fine and dandy on my end, but trust and believe we all have our days. Right now, my life has been going smooth. I've been having a positive mindset, been going to work, getting to the money, loving my dog. Like, right now, I'm good. Right now, I'm good. I'm waiting for the st another storm to come. You know, I'm grateful for the storms. I'm grateful for when shit happens because it teaches me something. I'm grateful when them people come and really do me dirt because guess what? Now I know what to avoid in the future. You know what I mean? Now you know. Those people that just did you dirty and are so toxic to you, you know what to look for in the next person. I love you all. Stay safe in these streets because, man, this world is getting crazy. Cool if you can. Really love you. Thanks for watching Road to 100K. Bye next week. <laughs>